वेलकम ऑल बी एस सी फर्स्ट ईयर स्टूडेंट्स लास्ट चैप्टर वी हैव सीन इंट्रोडक्शन डेफिनेशंस ऑफ फिश एंड फिशरी साइंस देन वी हैव सीन scope of fishery science and last point from this article or from last chapter that is importance of fishery science why this fishery science these are to be important it is to be most useful then next article to our concern syllabus which is classification of fishes classification of fishes or pieces up to class level specially here we have seen the classification which is to be put forth by scientist berg 1940 hence this classification it is to be also called as berg's classification berg 1940 he classified put forth a scheme pattern of classification and that classification these are to be adapted used all over the world hence the berg classification which is to be important most useful for our study for our syllabus berg classification or classification of pieces up to class level berg's classification these are the two fishes these fishes one fish is to be found in brackish water or marine water upper fish and below it is called as of fish fellas or the channa famous fresh water food fish snake headed fish channa morelus which is found in our local area in our jintur market also these fishes fair these fishes in classification how these fishes these are to be classified which are the basic classification which is to be observed found these classification or this classification we have study among this article among this chapter the evolutionary classification based largely on the topological methods the evolutionary classification based largely on the typological methods has been adopted a number of fish taxonomists evolution as it is to be occur as evolution these are to be found classification of fishes these are to be basedly on the typological methods and this typological method these are to be adopted these are to be used by number of taxonomist taxonomist those scientists those worker who can working on classification of animals classification of organisms these are called as taxonomist all these taxonomist in evolution evolution the process the process where something is already present in some form when something is to present all in some form but when this some form undergo change and new something is to be develop new something is to be form that process it is to be called as the evolution it is to be called as the evolution and as continuous evolution these are to be occur these are to be observed on the earth planet that is related to the classification related to the development of human beings or the animals also all these taxonomists these are to be as evolution these are to be occur number of taxonomists 
they can use the evolution they can use the typological methods among these workers among these scientists are taxonomist gunther and cop 1971 he largely he on large scale this scientist these are to be work on large manner on a broad sense gunther and cop 1971 next to the gunther and cop blunger 1904 1904 he studied about the fish and fishery science classification of the fishery science next to blunger jordan 1923 then regan 1929 berg 1940 and romer 1959 means gunther and cope blunger jordan regan berg and romer these are the some famous taxonomist some important taxonomist who can study these taxonomists these are to be give their devotion about the classification and about the fish and fishery science but unfortunately all these scientists these are to be studied these are taxonomists they put forth themselves the classification of pieces classification of fishes of the various scheme proposed by these scientist proposed by these taxonomists but there is no agreement among the ichthyologist among these scientists among the these taxonomists there is no any universal agreement among the ichthyologists regarding the classification of pieces classification of fishes fishes constitute more than one half of all vertebrates those fishes these are to be inhabiting those fishes these are to be found on earth planet these fishes constitute more than one half of all vertebrates comprising near about comprising near about 30000 to 40000 fish species these are to be observed these are to be found on earth planet all these 30 to 40000 fish species these are to be not same similar structure shape size and habit but these are to be different these are to be variable that's why to identify to recognize all these 40000 species species of fishes there is a systemic classification there is a systematic manner to recognize these fishes it is to be essential it is to be most important and that's why these aphrosite scientist these aphrosite taxonomist these are to be studied the classification of pieces not only these scientists these are to be studied but number of scientists these are to be studied these are to be put forth number of scheme about the classification of pieces but among these scientists the few scientists such as gunther cope blunger jordan regan berg and romer these are the most and widely used classification that's why these are to be taken here these are to be we have quoted here number of other scientists other taxonomists also discovered also working on classification of pieces but their invention these are to be not so good not so for the study for the research hence only limited these some taxonomists these some scientists these are to be study about the classification of fishery science on earth planet then the classification of berg 1940 is most widely accepted classification of berg is to be 1940 is most widely accepted it is based upon the conclusions of jordan 1923 and regan 1929 many ichthyologists consider 
Burke classification as a minor revision. Number of scientists these are to be take Burke classification. Some minor changes they can made, some minor correction they can made, and they can use the classification. Minor revision these are to be done by number of workers, number of investigators. Burke's scrutinizing the merits of the classification proposals and make advanced classification. And this advanced classification, which is to be occur by Berg, which is to be produced by Berg, proposed by Berg's, this Berg's classification, it is to be then accepted all over the world because some changes these are to be performed by the Berg 1940. Fishes comprises about 30,000 to 40,000 fish species differing widely from each other in shape, size, habits, and habitat. All these fishes, these are to be not same, similar, uniform, but these fishes, these are to be differ, these are to be separate, these are to be different from one another. For which purpose, for which condition, these are to be different in shape, these are to be different in size, these are to be different in habits and habitats. Some of them are very small not more than an inch in length. Some fishes these are to be more than an inch in length. Whereas, or file few are at any length of up to 18.50 meter. Means some fishes these are to be 1 inch in length and some fishes these are to be up to 18 meter length. They live in all seas, oceans, rivers, reservoirs, lakes, canals, dams and in almost every place where there is water. These fishes, these are to be different, these are to be differ one another in shape, size, habit and habitat. Some are to be small in size, some are to be larger in size. And these fishes, these are to be found, these are to be naturally occur. Where these are to be naturally occur? These are to be found in seas, oceans, rivers, reservoirs, lakes, canals, dams and in almost every place where there is water, in that water fishes these are to be inhabiting, fishes these are to be found. That's why these fishes, that's why water is the prime importance for the fish, water is the prime importance for the aquatic animal and fishes these are to be inhabiting, fishes these are to be found in this sources. Fishes usually have a streamlined body, but some are elongated, snake like. Fishes usually have a streamlined body, streamlined body both generally ends these are to be pointed, these are to be small, narrow and fish these are to be swim easily in water. It is called as streamliner body. But some are elongated, snake like and few are dorso ventrally compressed. Some fishes these are to be elongated, some fishes these are to be snake like and some fishes these are to be dorso ventrally compressed body. These are to be observed, these are to be seen. They have paired and unpaired fins for swimming. With the help of fins, fish move. With the help of fins, fish can change their place from one part to another part. For locomotion, for swimming, fins is the prime importance. Fins, these are most useful. The evolution of earliest vertebrates occurred in marine environment. As evolution, these are to be occurred. As evolution, these are to be observed. In early conditions, in earliest period, all vertebrates, these are to be occurred in marine environment, in sea environment. The most ancient vertebrates called as Agnathos. The most ancient vertebrates called as the Agnatha. A means absent. Gnatha means mouth. Gnathos tomata. Mouth is to be absent. Hence, it is called as Agnatha. Or this Agnatha. These are also called as jawless vertebrates. These are also called as jawless vertebrates. Agnathas had undergo 
on extensive adaptive radiation these agnathas these animal these are to be undergone on extensive adaptive radiation and they become extinct on earth planet as changes these are to be occur as radiation these are to be occur among these agnathas these agnathas these are to be extinct on the earth planet the environmental condition these are to be not suited and animal become hoarse animal become lost on the earth planet extinct on the earth planet only these are to be we have studied in fossil records or on fossils in vertebrate evolution the sudden appearance of the gnathostomes in vertebrate evolution the sudden appearance of gnathostomes in the mid devonian as well as mid silurian period in mid silurian and mid devonian period these fishes underwent a great adaptive radiation and give rise to many kinds of fishes as among this mid silurian period these fishes these are to be undergo underwent a adaptive radiation and as adaptive radiation these are to be occur as changes these are to be occur these changes these are to be give rise to many kinds of fishes many kinds of fishes among these first few classes these are to be extinct on earth planet among those classes these are to be observed among pisces in five pisces in these classes few classes first few classes these are to be extinct not today these are to present on the earth planet and two new types of classes fishes two new types of pisces as cartilaginous fish and bony fishes these are to be evolved on the earth planet means first jaw less to jawed animal these are to be developed agnatha these are to be radiation these are to be observed and as the agnatha these are to be lost on the earth planet two types of fishes these are to be evolved on earth planet and these two types of fishes one is the cartilaginous fish and second is the bony fishes these are to be evolved on the earth planet these are to be occur on the earth planet that is among the agnathas jaw less to jawed or the jawed vertebrates thus from jaw less to jawed animals thus from jaw less first animal these are to be jaw less jaws are to be absent but thereafter evolution these are to be takes place primary jaw these are to be supported to the ligament and forms a secondary jaws and this secondary jaws these are to be perform a perfect mouth supported by upper jaw and lower jaw hence these animals thus from jaw less to jawed animals or the fishes these are to be developed these are to be evolved in the succession of period of evolution before near about 10 to 15000 year near about 10 to 15000 year back these condition these are to be occur these are to be appear and with this jaw less to jawed vertebrates these are to be evolved these are to be proposed then classification proposed by berg 1940 those workers blungers regan romer then other variety different taxonomies these are to be put forth their classification but among these classification widely accepted universal accepted classification is berg 1940 and his classification which is to be proposed by berg which is to be called as berg classification 1940 berg 1940 included all the living and fossil fishes fossil fishes those are extinct on earth planet those are forge on earth planet only these fishes these are to be found observed in fossil records fossils within a series these fishes these are to be developed these are to be formed within a series pisces and subdivided 
the series into seven major classes the class pterichthys coccestai and acanthodi included all the primitive fishes all these three classes first pterichthys coccestai and acanthodi these collectively these are known as placoderms or placodermy because all these three classes today they are extinct they are not present on earth planet only their fossil record these are to be observed found hence these are called as placoderms or the placoderms these are also called as fossil fishes on the body of these placoderms or on the body of these pterichthys coccestai and acanthodi bony armor or hard carapaces or spines are present these hard up carapaces these bony armor or the bony spines these bony part these are to be used for offensive purpose these are to be used for offense and defense offensive purpose and defensive purpose for offense it is to be for those animal these are to be attack and these are to be catching prey that is offensive and defensive hence these are called as placoderms or the placodermy these are the first vertebrates or the first jawed animals the class elasmobranchia is considered of cartilaginous sharks skates and rays the class elasmobranchia which is to be surviving primitive class ancient class and this class these are to be consisted of cartilaginous sharks skates and rays next to the class class holocephali included a small group of arboreal fishes called as chimeroids called as chimeroid that is among the holocephali again rat fish rabbit fish and elephant fishes these are to be occur these are to be found hence these are that is chimeroids and rabbit fishes these are to be found these are to be occur in holocephali class dipnoa included again three important genera these three genera these are to be present in three continent today these or this class is also in danger condition in danger situation because only three genera these are to be reported on earth planet and these three genera these are to be inhabiting in a different three continent that's why in future in few years these fishes these are also extinct on earth planet their fossil records only we can found only we have study for our purpose these fishes these are to be again in danger in a tremendous conditions that's why only three genera these are to be reported the first genus protopterus found in africa it is called as african lungfish second that is neoceratodus found in australia queenlands of australia hence it is called as australian lungfish and third species that is lepidosiren which is to be found in rivers of america hence it is called as american lungfish three genera these are to be reported from class dipnoa these are the again then important and useful class and the last class the most important class the class teleostomy remaining bony fishes from the class teleostomy all modern and commercial food fishes were found from this class world's maximum fish production occur and due to this tremendous fish production this class it is to be called as commercial class this class is to be most important class for human why it is to be important for human because world's maximum production which is to be come from the bony fishes come from the teleostomy and that's why this class these are to be most important most advanced and commercial class which is to be flourish day by day these seven classes these are to be put forth 
by scientist Berg, 1940. That's why the Berg classification these are to be used, which is to be important. The summary of this classification, which is to be given as. Whole summary of this classification, which is to be seen here. Phylum, animal kingdom. Among this animal kingdom, all animals these are to be found. That is phylum, animal kingdom, subphylum, vertebrata. Vertebral column is to be present. Hence, subphylum, vertebrata. Group, craniata. That is brain or cranium is present. Brain is to be covered by hard calcareous covering. It is called as cranium, and cranium is present. Hence, group is called as craniata. When it is to be absent, it is called as a craniata. All invertebrate these are the a craniate, but these are the craniata. Division gnathos stomata. Division gnathos stomata. Gnathos means jaw, stoma means mouth. That is jaws. Paired appendages and mouth; these are to be developed. These are to be formed. That's why it is called as gnathostomata. Then super class or series, Pisces. Pisces, Greek word Pisces means fish. Fish which is aquatic, cold-blooded, respire with the help of gills and swims with the help of fins. That animal is called as Pisces or plural. It is called as Pisces single and plural. Pisces. Then classes. Seven classes. These are to be reported by Berg. Among these seven classes, first class Terichthys, second class Coccidae, third class Acanthodi. These Terichthys, Coccidae, and Acanthodi. Collectively, these three classes. These are called as Placoderms or Placodermi. Bony, plate-like bony armor. Shield. These are to be present on body, which is to be useful for offensive and defensive purpose. Hence, it is called as placoderm. Next to the fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh classes, four class, Elasmobranchii, ancient class, most primitive class, less developed class, Elasmobranchii. These are also called as cartilaginous fishes. Fifth, Holocephali. Sixth, Dipnoi, and seventh, that is the Teleostomy. This Teleostomy among the Pisces. Elasmo branca is most ancient, primitive. Whereas Teleostomy is the most modern, commercial, and recently evolved class. That is Teleostomy. With these seven classes, just classification of Berg up to class level, which is to be proved by Berg, which is to be your study here. Hope all of you understand better. Suppose any. Problem in difficulty, please ask. <coughs> you have well understood about this classification of the fishes or Pisces up to class level. Then we have next period. We have see the first class, Terichthys, Coccidea, and Acanthodi that is extinct. And in detail we have see Elasmo branchii, Holocephali, Dipnoa, and Teleostomy. Okay, any problem? Please ask. Class level. Thank you, and best of luck for your study. Okay.